Hey y'all, what's going on? Uh, going to do a video here. I was actually going to be going through this kit here and uh, taking out a few items and uh, out of here and put into my add into my recce ruck. Um, I have some uh, new items coming in the mail uh, to play, replace the ones I have in here. And actually, when I get those, I'll I'll do a video on them, uh, showing the the new content and the uh, new uh, uh, gear that I'm putting in. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is uh, uh, this used to be my camping pack. It was kind of set up for a camping situation. Uh, I do have another bag uh, that I use for my camping, so you know I've kind of made that back to uh, my old camping pack. But I really never had like a like a big. Uh, this is to me this is a this is a bug out bag, but this is a bag that if we had to leave home, uh, this would be one of. Uh, I don't have like one pack. Uh, I guess you call it an inch bag, um, you know, one pack that, you know, has everything in it we would need if we had to leave home. I'm never coming back uh, pack. Uh, I got multiple uh, different packs and kits that make an inch bag system. I believe in a kind of a more of a system than just one pack that I carry that has everything in it. And with having kids and having a family, you know, it'd be hard to put everything in one bag, you know, for all of us. So it's kind of a, a system that I have and that with these multiple packs and, uh, you know, different uh, setups that would make our inch, uh, inch bag system, I guess you could call it. So this is, this is kind of, uh, I've turned this into now, uh, you know, a bug out bag, like a, uh, anything 72 hours or longer, you know, if we're leaving home, uh, you know, we're going to come back to the house. So this has a lot of supplies in it that we will need. Uh, being out there now there are some items I would be adding extra on here uh, for one I would have a tent uh, one of our tents up top uh, which we have multiple tents but one of them would definitely be up here and then also I'd probably run a sleeping bag uh, down here too and have some type of sleeping bag set uh, system on it uh, this is actually the 3B gear uh, 72 hour pack uh, I always forget the name on it but uh, it's, it's one of their bigger bags that they have and um, it comes with a small little uh, kind of a pouch up down here that you can uh, take off and then it can you can turn into a waste uh, pack uh, if you wanted uh, it's it's a great option I mean it's, I still have it uh, so it definitely be um, something that I still be using as a waste pack system or you could even run it as a shoulder uh, shoulder pack if you if you wanted to the only problem I have with it especially when it had content in it uh, when you walk with this bag uh, it would have a tendency to kind of move down here at the bottom, kind of go flap up and down, uh, which kind of bothered me a little bit. I didn't like how it moved a lot. And then one of the buttons was actually kind of uh, wasn't the greatest at times. I was it would kind of snap off, uh, you know, depending on the weight inside that pack, and then uh, you know, and then moving. So I would take a night eyes tie down, and then tie it down that one side to make sure if it did come off, uh, it wouldn't come off the pack and I wouldn't lose it. I uh, eventually took it off because my plan is I could take uh, a sleeping bag or maybe even the tent down here, run those night eye ties around the tent, put the tent down here, and then put the sleeping bag up top and then strap it down uh, with the strap. So, you know, I kind of have different options of what I could do to add on to that as far as like a shelter goes. Now, I do have uh, the tarp system from the boss kits and the set and uh, the gear from that, that kit in here and I also have another hammock uh, my other hammocks in here too which I have in the bug out roll uh, that's in here so this is uh, this is that now it's become my, my major part of my inch bag system and uh, this this bag here will uh, have a lot of essentials that we will need and uh, you know I've shown this bag last year for 2019 it was more of my camping setup uh, but I've changed I, it hasn't changed too much, but I've kind of changed a little bit, you know, switched out things here. But, you know, just to start off on the outside, the only thing I have on the outside, uh, which I don't have a whistle up front. I always like having whistles on my pack, so that's probably, I could, grab, I got so many whistles, I could add one on here, uh, which I might do. Uh, I do have a paracord bracelet whistle in there, so I should probably take that out. I'm going to put it on the front there. There's some things I'm going to change around in here just because I got new stuff coming. And I want to take the the other stuff and put it in my in my recce rug. So, but on the outside for right now, uh, just a watch. This is just a standard uh, digital watch here. Uh, you know, it's got 
It's got uh, everything on it I need. Don't have a compass or anything, but it's just a water resistant watch. No, nothing fancy. My wife actually got me that I think, for Christmas a while back. And uh, so I do have a watch out here, which is this, you know, for me, I don't really, I don't wear a watch uh, through, you know, an everyday, you know, normal life, but, you know, emergency or some type of disaster, if cell phones were down or whatever the case may be, um, you know, SHTF, definitely want to have a watch and some way to keep track of time. So uh, for this bag and this system, I definitely want to have some type of watch on there. Um, watch up top. Uh, which I would probably be putting on if we if I was using this pack um, Which I actually got plans on taking this out on an overnighter and uh, and and also on hikes because of the weight it has in here um, You know, this is gonna come out to a good 30 30 to 40 pounds uh, depending you know with the tent and uh, the, the sleeping bag I'm probably looking at 35 maybe 40 pounds, you know as far as what I'm carrying in here So it's, it's a good loadout um, but yeah, I definitely want to take it out on a hike and maybe even do it overnight with it and try it out. So, um, anyways, uh, on the front here, I got my Gerber strong arm, and uh, I actually showed a little bit of this when me and my boys were doing a fire back there, testing out the Gerber and, and uh, that little saw and just trying things out. Um, but and then I got my other Black Scout survival uh, flashlight, which I've done, you know, uh, show that that's the version two, and uh, that has the stripe bezel and the and then the red lens in it. I actually got it set up for red lens. And then on this side, I got my trauma kit. Let's see if I can. It's kind of using the chair there, but I got the trauma kit here on this side. Um, this is the one I used to carry in my EDC, and I've kind of uh, split my EDC up and kind of downsized a little bit as far as the uh, you know the trauma kit goes. And uh, but this is the rest of the content and the, and, and the EDC trauma pack uh, that I have so I mounted that down here at the bottom which I had there, that on at, there at one time so it's a great little spot there and since we're doing the side here I'll just go ahead and go through the pocket uh, on this side I got the trauma kit and then I have the small boss first aid kit so I got my boo-boo kit right here uh, I keep my uh, gun oil wipes uh, in here for my pistol and and uh, uh, rifles and stuff, uh, shotgun. Um, I would be, if I am if I have this pack on me and we're leaving the house, I'm gonna have my pistol on me and I'm also gonna have my 12 gauge. So I do have 12 gauge ammo in here and I also have uh, nine millimeters. So um, got my binoculars, you know, these. I got a couple pairs of binoculars and I put that in here. So I got the binoculars per se, the wipes, and then there gets a little separate pocket in there, a uh, pouch in there. Uh, this is the pain relief uh, cream here, uh, all natural stuff, and uh, the sunblock. Uh, what do they call it? The solo, solo goo. But these I, we got in the Nomadic, uh, which I, which became pretty good stuff. Uh, and here's the pain relief one. Uh, anyways, I got those in there uh, with the first aid. Uh, it kind of goes hand in hand. So, got those there for easy, quick, easy access. And, um, let's see if I can get this back in quick. Try to put all this back in while I'm doing the video here. Easy coming out, a little hard going in. Anyways, the trauma, this, this, that side is my first aid, uh, medical side. And then on this side, I got my canteen kit, which is, you know, I take this off at times and use it. Uh, I have a small little, uh, this is the Self-Reliance Outfitters canteen kit. I have a small pack that goes with that, so I take that out and I can use that, that small pack, you know, on a small little day hike if I was going out. Now I'm going to go out to the woods for a little bit and go on a day hike, and I didn't want to take a lot with me. Uh, I have a little canteen system kit that I put together, and I put all the essential items I would need for that trip out there. Uh, so here's the canteen, and it does have the cook set inside. Um, I don't have anything on the little side pouches there, and uh, but I got the canteen kit. This is actually my water hydration side, and then first aid on the other side. I just added this uh, the small little water bag. This is one we just got in the Nomadic from uh, the February's box here. And I guess I got another water container. Um, here's a 
uh, water straw. Uh, this is a, a water filter, but uh, the water straw, just another filter system. Uh, you know, quick, easy way to get water. And uh, it has the straw in there with the filter. I do have my mini Sawyer, which, you know, this is this thing's awesome. I do have the bag with it. And uh, this, this will go hand in hand. This small little water container will go with that Sawyer. And, uh, but, you know, having a great lightweight option to filter water and a lot of water, especially if, you know, for your family and everything, uh, you know, the mini Sawyer up to 100,000 uh, gallons of water. So definitely a great option for long term. And then, yeah, and that's it. So I got, uh, I got my filters in here. And then, uh, but you know, if we had to leave the house, you know, in a situation like that, an emergency, you know, some type of SHTF, I guess you could say, uh, I have multiple ways to filter water and a lot of different other kits. So this would be one of the many ways to filter water. Uh, James Yeager's actually got a nice uh, filter. Um, Go check out James Yeager's uh, Amazon store. He has a lot of great gear and content in that store. And, and uh, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. I actually just picked up um, one of the items I do have uh, coming in the mail. I, I picked up a poncho uh, on, uh, on his uh, Amazon store. And that's coming in. That's going to be for my recce rope. Um, but I have that coming in. But he has so many... So many so many different items on there and uh so i'm gonna be ordering a lot off his amazon store uh james jaeger uh really great stuff and his wife even has stuff on there for like household essentials you know cooking and cookware and stuff like that so just a lot of, not just bug out and survival stuff but he also has other uh you know stuff on there on his in his store which go check it out all kinds of great stuff and um there was a water filter. Uh, check out his bug out videos that he just did re recently. I think it's put out by Survivor Filter, uh, but it's a battery operated, uh, rechargeable uh, uh, filter system that uh, that pumps out water and that filters water and uh, runs off batteries. Or you can also hook it up to the the vehicle. You know, if you have a, your vehicle with you, I'm definitely gonna purchase it. I think it's a little over a hundred dollars. But awesome, awesome water system, uh, filters uh, system and set up to, uh, for a long-term situation. And especially if you have a family and you need to filter gallons and gallons of water, that's the way to do it. And a quick and easy and fast and uh, definitely the, would be the best option as far as time-wise. You could have that thing run and have it filling up water while you're doing other tasks. You know, instead of somebody's being down there, you know, for a certain period of time, gathering up all this water and filtering it that pump does it for you and you don't have to, you know, do anything except come back, you know, and switch out containers or whatever, but you could be doing multiple tasks. So it's a great item for a long-term bug out situation. I am going to be picking one up and that would be our, you know, that'd be going in one of our kits, you know, in our system of our, you know, inch bag system. So I uh, definitely want to have that for uh, filtering water. I am going to be getting one, but check out James Eggers, uh store, uh, Amazon store. Really, really awesome stuff in there. Anyway, so, that's hydration, first aid, knife, flashlight. Like I said, there'd be probably uh, there'll be like a, for sleeping for another source of shelter. I do have the hammock in here uh, with tarps and stuff, but uh, I also would have a sleeping bag and the tent running on here. Uh, up front, it's got the, the area here, the compartment. Uh, this is actually going to be coming out. I'm going to be putting that in my recce rug. And uh, try to change this around here. I like to be more of a. That's uh, I got the book. Uh, these are actually from the. I've showed these before. But I actually got this. Uh, these are awesome little information cards, uh, information little books, and they're waterproof too. Um, but anyways, I got these from Self Reliance uh, Outfitters. Uh, they have a nice little bundle one, which are the orange ones. And it has all the information you need for survival, for emergencies, uh, you know, everything from building shelters, building, making fires, uh, you know, purifying water, all that stuff. You know, what content to have, uh, bug out. They even have uh, navigation. Uh, they got basic tracking, uh, track, looking at tracks, medical plants of eastern woodlands. That's a, that's a great one. Wilderness first aid, uh, improvised trapping. 
They got a hunting weapons, imp improvised hunting weapons, building survival kit. So they, there's the building the survival kit that you need to build a kit out. Uh, the signaling uh, for rescue, shelter, fire, water, and edible plants to the woodland. And then I actually have added the outdoor knot one, which is a nice little uh, booklet here to show you how to tie knots. And I really loved it because it's all colored. Uh, you know, it really, it really stands out and helps you really see as far as tying knots. That's always good. And the other one I added was the field dressing game. Uh, shows you how to, uh, you know, dress and, and play fish and small game and, and even bigger game on how to play. So definitely a great little bundle here I got, uh, you know, especially in a bug out situation or SHTF or whatever. Uh, definitely knowledge is key and knowledge is everything. And, uh, you know, most of this stuff you probably know, but it's always good to have books so you can teach others, but also refresh your memory too on a lot of things. So knowledge is key in any type of that, you know, situation so this is actually coming out going my recce rug because i actually it's gonna i'm gonna be replacing this with some uh, new content and knowledge uh information cards uh that i just uh got off one of the youtubers uh picked up off of them and uh when i get it i'll show it and uh, do a video on it but it's going to be going here and taking this spot of this here and then in the front here only thing I have in the front here is this uh, the food bag and then the, the cards and then uh, in here I just have a lot of different I have a lot of the uh, first strike ration uh, meals in here so I have a lot of those dinners and breakfast meals in here plus some of the snacks uh, you know I even have a little small bottle of fireball whiskey in here you know at, in, a, in a stressful situation the, the one of the things I've uh, kind of thought about and you know in a situation where if we were using this and we had to leave home it's just stress levels uh you know stress is a killer and uh you know over a long term period of stress it's gonna it'll take it'll take its toll on you and uh one thing i thought about with you know with my family and stuff you know it's, it's gonna be a stressful situation especially with the kids so um the kids is um you know just you got to keep them busy uh make sure you have some games one of the things I got to put in my bug out roll here, I'm actually added in is uh, I got some playing cards. I'm gonna be putting back in here and uh, having that in there. That's just for games, you know, to stay keep the kids busy and and uh, that way they're not so stressed out. And then I also have a lot of uh, stress reliefs in here for you know mommy and daddy and uh, just a little bit of whiskey, you know, take the edge off uh, would be something I would be using. Um, I have coffee packets in here, electrolyte packets. Uh, here's some uh, little samples that my wife got on the, the stress relief, uh, one of the supplement pills that she uh, she's looking into. I, I think she's actually going to start taking this and trying it. But I actually had got some of these free and I threw them in here, uh, you know, for like, you know, for stress. And I also have some pre-workout stuff for my wife here, uh, you know, for energy and stuff and then protein mix and stuff for protein and stuff like that. So, and I did add in... It's kind of a free sample I got here, and my wife actually trying this. But this is a digestive uh, to help ease digestion and uh, release uh, nutrition, support healthy digestive function. So, you know, one of the things with MREs, uh, you know, a lot of people say, uh, you know, you get constipated if you eat these for a long term. Uh, it's not something you want to eat for a while. And then also with your, uh, you know, with your digestive system, system that's huge, something important, you know, especially in a long term bug out situation you definitely uh, you're gonna have a lot of issues as far as your stomach goes and uh but you want to make sure everything's not you know working good and i thought adding these in uh for this type of situation for a longer period you know to get to our destination and then you know over a long term uh this would be something that probably come in handy to help uh, with the digestive uh function and system so it's uh definitely uh definitely all natural uh, type stuff here, but anyway, it's definitely something to look into and just kind of thinking more long term. Uh, but yeah, basically, all the snacks and uh, meals and stuff in here. Uh, and this is just kind of one of the many kits as far as food goes that we will be taking. Um, I do have a lot of freeze dried food that I keep stored away for emergencies, so a lot of that stuff will be coming with us too. Uh, but like I said, this is. This is just something for this kit in, in particular for this, uh, you know, this type setup. And, um, but you know, there'd be more be getting added into there. So, 
Anyway, so that's all I got there in the front. This is gonna stay out, so I'm gonna be taking that out. All right, and then in the main compartment, the majority of the stuff is in the bug out roll. Uh, I do have a, uh, this is for the Smart Water, uh, this is for the, the Mini Sawyer Smart Water bottle, and you can hook the filter on here. Uh, this is water that you know we could drink, obviously, for the meantime. Uh, plus, the canteen would be full, uh, so we would have that full of water. And uh, and then with the mini, this is for the mini sawyer to filter out water. So this would uh, another container for storing water. Uh, in here, I just have uh, some extra pair of shoelaces, uh, wool socks, uh, neck gaiter. I got some small little straps in there. Some. Uh, uh, straps I can strap uh, gear down and then I have the mosquito uh, repellent uh, mask here and that would basically be for me for the summertime uh, whoever's sleeping in the hammock which more likely would be me uh, you know definitely have have something to keep the mosquitoes off me and uh, but also camouflage uh, mosquito netting uh, from my head from the, the head part of it and then uh, down here Side. Now, what I did with my my uh, bug out roll, I decided to change uh, things around in it. Uh, I did that after we had did the fire when me and the boys were out there in the back. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep all my survival type gear and essentials in the bug out roll uh, because this is something you know where when we get to our destination to our bug out location, uh, this would be you know we're leaving home and we have a. a a destination that we're going to be going to this will be something we have at the campsite you know where we're at where we're camped out at and uh, this will be hanging up you know in our campsite area uh, so the bug out roll has all the survival gear and essentials that we would need to sustain us over a longer period of time and all the content you will really need to have on in a survival situation so but what I did was I took the bottom piece. I had that to, if I wanted to rip it off, I could take that bottom piece and take it to the showers and get clean and have everything on me. Uh, but what I did was I put my shelter kit in that bottom piece where I had all my hygiene uh, products. Now, I got this in a Ziploc bag for right now, but I'm going to be purchasing a small dry bag. And then all this is going to be going into a dry bag. I love Ziploc bags because it's cheap and it's you know easy as far as waterproof and stuff. But they do get punctured. Uh, but I am going to be getting a small dry bag to put all this uh, hygiene uh, kit stuff in here. And basically, everything that I had in the bug out roll, you know, deodorant, toothpaste, you know, different soaps, um, you know, toiletry, uh, way to clean, you know, uh, dry fit towels. This is for dirty clothes. Uh, this small, we got these in the Nomadic. And I actually had two of these. And uh, that's for dirty clothes. I got soap in here. Uh, which, if you haven't checked out that Dr. Squatch soap uh definitely look into it i've been using it now for a little bit and it is the best damn soap that i've ever used oh i love it i'm, I'm a huge fan of it all natural soap uh this is it here take a look at them uh, let's see if i can get some of the information on the back amazing soap this soap is so damn good uh and i'm actually going to be looking into the shampoo and conditioning uh kits a uh, subscription Hey, big boy, come here. My little, my boy just woke up. He's been taking a late nap here, so. Uh, hold on, daddy's doing a video. Come here. I'll be there in a minute. It's okay. Anyways, uh, check out that soap if you haven't seen it. Great soap, awesome soap. All natural soaps uh, with all natural oils. And, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Got a bandana in there, too, for cleanup and all that. Uh, but like I said, this will be going into a dry bag uh, type system. Austin, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Come on. Come on down here. I got the light on. I need your help. Come here. My little one's just waiting out he, he was tired. He had a long night last night over at his grandmother's house. And he just was tired when he got home. So, Anyway, so here's the bug out roll, which... I did a, a video on this with my son, like a quick run through on it. Um, if you haven't seen the bug out roll, check it out. Come here, big boy. If you haven't seen the bug, bug out roll, check it out. Awesome, awesome piece of gear. I love this thing. Uh, this is really great for like a, you know, 
if you're at a, a campsite, camp area, if you're going camping, I mean, you can change this and turn this into multiple things that you want or how you want it set up. But um, you know, I got it set up for a survival, uh, you know, bug out situation. Uh, yeah, mom, she she want to go get you Burger King. She's gonna bring you some Burger King home. Okay, uh, she'll be right back. Anyways, uh, he loves Burger King. Anyways, uh, she's running errands with her other one and the baby. So, um, but awesome piece of gear, worth every single penny. I love this thing. Uh, for me. And this system and the way we got it set, I got it set up, uh, you know, this would be at our campsite, like I was saying, and this is something I would hang up, you know, off a tree or in our area. And then it would have, all, have a lot of the survival bug out essentials in there. Um, I do have, let me see, I got the bug out roll. And then in the sleeve here, and this, uh, where you can put a hydration bladder if you wanted to, I have my uh, Pathfinder uh, emergency blanket. Uh, have that in there. Another type of tarp system is set up. Um, I have uh, I have maps and more uh, bags to keep things waterproof. But I have a map of my area, and uh, this is actually my navigation. I have a map, a compass. Um, I used to keep this in my recce rope, but uh, say hi here. I need the water bottle. But anyways, here's the, I got a red Sharpie in there, and then I got, uh, you know, uh, two compasses, Ranger beads, uh, Sharpie, and I got a pencil, and I even got a, a, this another navigation card that came with the compass that I got, some great information on there, and just a map of my general area. And then this is the picture of my family. Uh, actually, I got to update this one. I'm going to be changing this out because I got a new picture to put in there. Uh, which I had over there, so this is going to get changed out. Um, anyway, so picture of my family. Uh, one of the reasons why I keep a picture in there, and I thought it was a great idea, was uh, Alaska Granny. I brought this up, and it's kind of always stuck with me. But you know, if you got separated from your family, or you were looking for your family, and let's say you were gone, and your family had a bug out from the house, and there was a SHTF, you know, emergency disaster. They know where to go, so you got it, and you know where to go, and they, you know where to meet at. Uh, also, oh, that's loud when you hit the table, so I try to be quiet. Anyways, if I was trying to find my family, and you know, I had this bag, and we were separated, I would have a picture showing what my family looked like, uh, you know, to help find, uh, you know, find them. So, uh, just a great idea to keep that in there, and also, you know, for morale purposes, you know, if you were separated, to remember, also, also. To, to remember why you know you're bugging out or you know you're trying to get to a certain destination to get to your family and you guys are separating to help you keep stay motivated and keep going remember why why you know you're doing what you're doing so uh, that's another great option as far as having a picture in there um, then I got the mercy blanket and then down at the bottom here uh, I have the tarp from the boss shelter kit uh, so I have the mercy blanket which goes in the back sleeve here navigation goes in here and then the picture of them would be replacing with a different one and then I have the tarp from the boss kit uh, down at the bottom so I have another tarp here so but anyways as far as the bug out roll like I said we did a quick video on this uh, so I won't take too much time as far as showing but I have a few items I'm actually taking out of here um, they're gonna be going into my uh, my recce rough again but you know, that's what, this is why I love this thing, because you can just open it up, you know, and then it's got a grab handle up here, but you also have some D-rings on here, so you can hang it up. But, you know, you can just hang this up in the tree, and then, or at your campsite, and then you got all your content. Yeah, this is heavy. This is heavy. Uh, but, you know, you can hang everything up and all that good stuff. So, you know, the first one, like I'm actually taking out, I have a knife, two knife sharpeners. This one... Uh, it's got to go in my recce ruck. This is the Black Scout uh, knife sharpener that's going in my recce ruck. Um, this is kind of my escape and evasion uh, system here. Plus, I have fishing line, obviously for fishing. But this is spire wire, but this is also for my trip line, which I've talked about before. Uh, running a trip line in our area. Um, paracord. Actually, that's the paracord bracelet. That's gonna be coming out and going on the front for the whistle part. Uh, so that'll be coming out. 
Uh, but anyways, then I got some carabiners, some nine eyes, you know, tie downs, uh, repair tape, and stuff like that for the tent. Um, yeah, this thing's heavy also. Got to switch it up now. So, uh, and then here I got 12 gauge, uh, double op buck, uh, and then nine millimeter uh, ammo. These are the pot. This is the hiking boss kit and the running kit. Check these out. Two awesome kits. A lot of great content in these kits, uh, especially items that you want to have on the go. Uh, so two awesome kits there. Highly recommend those. And then here is the signaling kit, small little pocket signaling kit, and then a small fishing kit. Uh, this is my fire section here, and I got my different fire tenders, ways to start fire, and then here's power, solar panel, power bank, and uh, let's see if I can get this on the table. And uh, you know, ways to charge our, our devices. Uh, under that, I got uh, my kind of the tool section. Uh, this has all the different tools, knife sharpeners, saw, uh, utensils, a uh, little small stove uh, with the little tablets in it to burn with, and the multi-tool and the survival kit, the combat survival kit. And then at the very bottom, is where I have this what used to be the hydration part hygiene part now it's my shelter uh, kit system and I have all my uh, shelter items in here there's the hammock uh, that I have in there and then plus you know all the uh, tarps heavy metal trash bags not tarps but uh, kind of the, the liners to put down uh, you know underneath the tent keep the tent clean and uh, and then heavy metal trash bags another way to insulate yourself keep yourself off the ground if you have to but different multiple uses for a shelter goes. And uh, you know, it's got stakes, but the whole ball shelter, uh, ball shelter kit is down at the bottom there with some things I've added in. So here's the bug out roll, quick run through. Like I said, check it out. If you haven't seen the bug out roll, uh, or definitely want to get one, I highly recommend it. It is worth every penny and definitely something you want to have in a bug out type situation. And especially if you're leaving home, uh, you know, you can have a lot of the essentials that you need. Uh, for yourself and for your, you know, to sustain yourself. So, and then the great thing about the bug out roll, you just roll on up. When you're done, just trying to remember, make sure I don't need anything else. I'll go through this here, and uh, I might need. I'm taking. I might take it out too much. The only thing I needed was a knife sharpener, and I was going to take this out to put on the front of the pack. You know, good little mercy oh, whistle here. Yeah. It's got a compass. Now uh, this is, we actually got these for gifts for one Christmas from our family. Uh, but paracord bracelet, and then it has a weight, it has a striker uh, with a ferrocium rod on it. There's the little fer, uh, the uh, ferrocium rod, and then you got your striker. And then it has a whistle and a compass on it. So great little piece of gear, and uh, definitely something you want to have. And I always like to have emergency whistle up in the front, so you got that. Uh, I'm gonna be taking it out. And then the picture I'm switching out. This I'm taking out, replacing with some more info. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's it. That's everything that's in that that set that setup and that system. And uh, I just wanted to do a video showing the way I got it set up now. And like I said, this is kind of my inch bag, but kind of an inch bag system. I don't have one bag that I'm going to be carrying everything. There's going to be multiple bags that make a system and make a, a unit uh, to so we can leave home and uh, you know have everything and. I also have a trailer, so we will have a bug out trailer with our truck because there's a lot of stuff here that we would be taking with us that we're going to want once we get to our destination. So the main, the most important part is getting to our destination and is carrying as much as much supplies as we can possibly with the truck, the trailer, and all the you know different kits and everything and all our supplies. But if something happened, you know, getting there, which is not far from us, uh, so that's good. But uh, if something did happen to get to that location, you know, we had to, you know, you know, go hike it on foot, then we're going to have to go through the, you know, take the, all the packs, all the kits are going to be coming. The whole inch bag system kit with all those packs would be coming. And then plus carrying as much other things that, you know, as possible as we could. So, uh, you know, to get to our destination. So anyways, it's kind of what I thought about how I got things set up. And um, this is just one of my many kits and many different packs and systems that I have. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, definitely hope this can help somebody out, you know, point them in the right direction and, uh, you know, different gear and different uh, items, you know, you can pit, put in your, your kits and your systems and all that stuff. But anyways, guys, quick video. 
shown that. I've got to go through here and you know make sure I got everything out of here I want, kind of switch things around. And when I get these new items in, I'll, I'll do some videos on them, showing them. I think it's great information, great uh, gear to have, you know, for your prep. So definitely want to look into it. And check out that soap, Dr. Squatch uh, soap. Great soap, awesome soap, soap, I love it. And I'm actually gonna be getting her shampoo, shampoo and conditioning, trying that, uh, which I'm sure is great too. So Yay! anyways, all right guys, take care. God bless, and we'll see you on the next video. We just did a quick video on that nomadic box. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Daddy, uh, I'm gonna blow on it here, bud. There you go, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you gotta practice. There you go, you got it. Yeah, we'll practice. Yeah.